everyone. So firstly, I want to apologize for my voice. I'm still sick and I don't know what it is. I really should go to the doctor, I think. I'm feeling a little bit better though, like energy-wise I'm feeling okay. So I, f I think I'll pull through this and not have to go to the doctor. I don't know, it's probably a bad decision, huh? But anyway, I hardly like being negative. I don't like being negative on my channel. And the last time I did this, I seriously got so much hate for it. But I get so many requests to do this kind of video. Um, my cats are being really cute right now. Um, that's why I didn't make the bed, because she's sleeping on my pillow and I didn't want to disturb her. So, um, I don't like doing these kind of videos just because I get so much, so many negative comments. So that's why the comments are on approval only. If anything's negative down there, I'll just, you know, not approve it. Um, so, you know. Anyway, I'm going to do uh, products I regret buying. And I'm not choosing things that I don't reach for or are the wrong shade because I have a couple things that I regret, like concealer, but not because they're a bad product, just because they're in the wrong color. There's some like eyeshadows that I just don't reach for that I wish I probably shouldn't have gotten. Doesn't mean they're bad, um, I just don't reach for them. So I didn't include any of that. I included products that are, I find, not worthy of whether there's a hype for them or just not good products and I don't I wish I hadn't gotten them because they're they're just not good so um, I'm hoping I'm not gonna be too negative in this video I don't I'm not dissing any of the brands I'm talking about I'm not you know being negative about these brands it's just these products did not work for me however I've seen these products work for other people so personal experience okay I have to put a huge disclaimer because last time I seriously got so much hate on this kind of video, okay? So I don't want to talk too long, but I have to put that disclaimer out there. The first thing I'm going to talk about is a NARS product. The last video I talked about NARS Laguna and Orgasm. They just don't work for me. Um, I ended up giving that to my friend because it works for her skin tone better than mine. So many people grilled me for that. Like, well then why did you buy it? So I don't want any of that, okay? <laughs> this is an eyeshadow duo actually, and this is in Silk Road. And I don't, I have never in my life had a good experience with NARS, with any product. I mean, I haven't used that many things from them. I've never used any, like, foundation, concealer, powder, you know, lipstick, lip gloss. I've never used any of that, so I can't say that the whole brand for me doesn't work, but everything I've tried I haven't liked from NARS, so I just don't buy NARS just for my own personal, you know. Um, there's nothing wrong with it for other people, but... These colors are really natural and beautiful, and they just don't swatch. Like, this is, like, not pigmented at all. And when it goes on your skin, it's like there's nothing there. And that's this one right here. So I guess if you want, like, a subtle, subtle highlight, I don't even know. I just can't use it for anything. I like more pigmented shadows. Um, I'll swatch this one, too. This one is just too chunky glitter for my liking. I mean, you can see that it's just really, really chunky. The color is beautiful. It's like all that glitters almost, but with tons of glitter in it. And that glitter doesn't stay on your eye. It just gets all right here. And it's so not attractive. And I mean, I don't know what I was thinking. I, I swatched it in the store and I'm like, oh, that's cool and bought it. <laughs> but honestly, I just regret buying that because it does just doesn't work for me. I don't like super chunky glitter eyeshadows, except I love Urban Decay shadows, which most of the time have really chunky glitter. Um, but they're just not that pigmented, and so I'm really nasally. I apologize. Okay, the next thing is a Sephora brand thing. It's the Eyeliner Cream Smoky Waterproof. Yeah, Smoky Cream Liner. I don't know why I read the French version. Um, it's a beautiful bronze color, and this is in the shade Statue Bronze. And it's honestly really beautiful in the container. I'll go ahead and do a little swatch for you guys. Um, do a deeper swatch than that. But it just, like, I don't know. I, I Okay, firstly, I got it to put on the waterline because I love Teddy Eye Coal, but it doesn't last that long. So I thought because this was a gel liner and waterproof, it would last a little bit longer on the waterline. Uh, Teddy Eye Coal from MAC, in case I didn't say that. And I um, need to wipe that off before it dries. Anyway, um, and I put it on my waterline, and oh my god, I wanted to die. It burned so bad. I was like, water, eyes everywhere. It was so bad. 
um, it burned really, really bad. And this is like $10. It wasn't even expensive, well, relatively inexpensive. And um, I try to use it on the upper lash line too, and it's so weird. It's really streaky, and it just doesn't look good on me. And it like, it's kind of flaky. I don't know. I just have not had good luck whether on the waterline or on the top lash line with this product. Um, I just don't like it and I don't know if it works for other people but it really burns my eyes when I get it in there so it's just not worth it. I just don't use it. The next thing is a Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes um, Eyeliner and the reason why I try to love this and I compare everything to the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencils because those are my favorite eyeliners. They seriously last the longest. Even when they fade, they don't clump off um, like my Stila one does. My Stila eyeliner, I love it for the consistency when it goes on the waterline, but when it fades and comes off, it's like flakes off and so you have little patches, whereas the 24-7 Glide Ons don't do that. But this one is not opaque. like. It's just not pigmented. Like, it looks like a brown. And it's in 0L. I'm going to compare it to another black eyeliner because... Let's see. I probably shouldn't compare it to Perversion, should I? Because that one's, like, the blackest of all black. I'll show you guys the Stila Perfect Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner. And, like, that's how black eyeliner is supposed to be. What the heck is this about? Like, I can kind of use it to smoke it out for like daytime but honestly it's so not pigmented and I was like what is that I don't even know um it's supposed to be waterproof though but I find it just doesn't last that long and I just wish it was darker I don't know it doesn't budge like when you have it on there neither does the Stila one um, when it dries the Stila one's really great for not moving um when it dries but I don't know I just don't like this one that much maybe it's just the color. I don't know. It's just for a black that's not black. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, next thing is a Milani. It's a drugstore thing. I only have two drugstore things and then I have one more high end. Um, Milani Crystallize. This is a, I don't even know, <laughs> sparkling eyeshadow. A smooth and lasting eyeshadow with glimmers and pearls that deliver a sparkling finish on the lids. I don't know. This one's in Lovely and Luminous. And I thought it would come out like that, but honestly... So it looks like a glitter, like, I don't know what you use to, like, decorate clothes with, like a glitter pen kind of thing, but that's what it, like, comes out as. And then when you, like, blend it out, it looks like that. And then when you blend it out even more, it's just glitter. And God forbid you get this in your eye. Like, I would cry. These are, this is, like, kind of glitter that you would put maybe on your body, but not on your eyes. Like, really... That is so chunky and there's no color like it's just glitter <laughs> and I don't understand the concept I mean I kept it because I was gonna do like a glossy eye with it over like a black cream shadow maybe and see if it, I could do like a grunge look with it having like the glossy eye because I love the glossy eye but I don't know if it's gonna crease or not I don't know I haven't really used it that much because when I swatch it it's just so not attractive I don't know how that's like a makeup product I can see that on like clothing. I don't know. It's just, it's a weird product. Um, the next thing I'm going to talk about is Stila One Step Foundation, and this is supposed to be, um, a primer, foundation, concealer, and powder all in one. Now, this is primarily an, a regret because of, um, the color. I actually got this on Hot Look, and after, like, trying to use it, it's so weird. <laughs> I just... I don't know, it just looks so weird, and I don't, it's so, like, it's such a weird consistency, I don't know, it kind of grosses me out when I use it, um, obviously it's the wrong shade for me, but it's, like, too powder, I don't even know how that's supposed to look, like, flattering on the skin, even if it was the right shade, like, I don't know, it's really, really powdery for a liquid, I don't, I wouldn't even call it a liquid, it's like a powder inside a container. I don't know. Not good for dry skin, I'll tell you that much, because I have dry skin. It's just the weirdest consistency, and I had a sample of it, and I tried it, and I kind of liked it. That's why I bought it on um, online. And this isn't fair, and it's hecka yellow. Like, you saw how yellow it, yellow it is on me, so I don't know if I'd recommend that to people with dry skin. 
I, it's just a weird like full coverage consistency but it feels like a mask it's so thick and creamy that it's like it feels so weird I don't know the last thing is the Revlon Colorstay 12 hour eyeshadow in coffee bean these aren't the best shadows ever made I'll tell you that much um it's supposed to be like I don't know they're just like not that pigmented like especially this one's not that pigmented um they're just really powdery and get all over the place and they're just not I feel like you could get this in any palette like this one doesn't even show up on your skin first of all there's like a swatch right there I don't know if you can see it um, that's this one and um, I mean the highlights kind of nice it's really actually no <laughs> you can't see it either I don't know these just don't work for me they're not super pigmented I have shadows that are so close to this I don't even know why I got this it's like why did I purchase that if I have shadows that are better and the same color, you know what I mean? So I wouldn't recommend those eyeshadows. I just feel like they're they're kind of streaky, they're powdery, they're, um, I don't know. I just don't like the consistency of them. They're not like creamy or anything. They're kind of drying. I don't know. I just don't like them. They're not pigmented. There's just a couple things that are wrong with them that I can't use. So that's all the products I have to talk about in this video. Um, that's basically all I have in my collection that I regret because of a bad product not necessarily because it's the wrong shade or something um, so I don't really know what to do with these things <laughs> I'll probably give some of them away but I'm not sure they're just gonna sit in my collection and rot I don't know I'll probably throw away the drugstore ones I'm gonna try and work with the crystal eyes and see if I can get a glossy eye going on maybe I'll love it who knows I don't know um, but let me know what your product regrets are, if you have any in your collection, just so I know not to buy them, or if you just want to warn me about products, feel free. I hope this wasn't, like, super negative. I'm not bashing any of these brands. I love Milani, love Revlon, um, can't say the same about the others because, well, I love Stila. I love some of the Stila products. Um, but some of the others, the other brands, I haven't had much luck with, so, like, Makeup Forever. Haven't been impressed by any of their products that I've tried, except for their foundations. Their foundations are heaven. I love their foundations. Anyway, kind of a rambly video, and I apologize, but I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know in the comments what you think, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.